situation has not yet been ascertained. We must implement an emergency reformation. Follow your individual instructions. Anybody fans of Ace Combat? What is up everyone? Wolf here with a brand new build guide. Today, we have the SF-47 Golden Eagle. Its real-life counterpart, of course, is the SU-47 Berkut. Uh, I have no idea if that's how you pronounce that. It is Russian, and I apologize if I butchered it. Uh, it translates to Golden Eagle in English, and that name fit perfectly. Uh, as usual, I blew the build up, and I'm going to go with you piece by piece on how to put it back together. Go ahead and slow down the video with the playback speed button if you need to so you don't miss anything. Uh, before we get too far, I wanted to give a huge shout out to all the new subscribers out there. There are now over 550 of you. Thank you all so much. I have a lot in store for you, and I really hope you stick around to see it all. To begin this build, I found it best to start on top, actually. All of the parts on the bottom we'll go over later. It actually messed me up when trying to place this together, so don't do what I did. After you have constructed the top section with the four halves and the cowlings, swing underneath to then add these cargo pieces and uh, get the landing gear situated, as, as well as the landing bay and the docker. If you don't care about the immersion, the uh, fuel tanks can sit down here inside the landing bay, uh, but I decided to hide them on top. Just took me a second to figure out where they went. Now that the main body is finished, we can add the nose and the cockpit to the main section. Now there will be some interior glitching with this one, and I know people hate that, but I have tried every combination of cockpits to try and fix this issue, but there is just no combo that I have found that gives you this sleek and an aggressive look while still being functional. There's just no cockpits in the game currently that give you that same fighter jet aesthetic. Quick side note, if you're new to the channel and you are scratching your head and trying to figure out how I am placing these pieces where the game is not letting me, I just put out an entire glitching build guide. Uh, check out my channel and I will link the description below and I'll put a card uh, in the top right to explain all of it. Once I figured it out, the wings were pretty simple. It's just an assembly of Nova Cowling parts all flipped together. This is how I was able to achieve that inverted wing look. The most difficult part to make in this entire build is going to be this center engine bit. I used some of the stacking glitch that I've been talking about recently. Uh, again, if you want a detailed explanation on how to do all that, the video will be linked in the description. These two Stroud nose caps worked really well for the tail rudders. Oh, and make sure when placing the top SA4 330s uh, that, that you have a snap point facing out. Uh, that will be where the wings attach. Use this first wing 
as your build guide reference. I put the second wing on and I did it incorrectly, so I had to go back and then fix it, which is what you're seeing on the screen now. I'm not gonna lie, that fire transition to then add the color, that was pretty cool. One last piece I forgot to add in the beginning were these Deimos bumpers right in between the wings and the back of the body. Uh, I added them last minute to give it a little bit more of a flare and look less square in the back. You can also add uh, some ballistics inside this nose cap here. Um, I decided to take those out to save me a little bit of credits because I was running low. But if you want to max out your stats, you can add that in there. All right, one of the only negatives to this build is there are only certain areas where you can actually run underneath. Uh, there are these little passageways and things like crevices in between each part that you're tall enough to fit under. I like the aesthetic of the lower landing gear because you can't see the entire thing, but then it makes your ship really short. So you you can decide if you want to add those in or not. Okay, interior walkthrough. We come to a normal living quarters, and then we drop down to our control station. This is what gives us that plus two crew space. I do also wish that some of the things in these hams were a little bit more interactive, like that computer in the back. Now we're gonna jump back up and we're gonna head down the hall to our Deimos armory with that sweet LED gun case in the back. We got a captain's quarters here with our fancy little corner couch. I also like in this hab that there's a navigation table for those of you who really like to immerse yourself in the game and not use all those fast travel options, those are pretty nice. And now on the other side, we have our workshop. Damos Workshop has every single workshop table in it. I literally don't make any builds without it. I think it's perfect. And then we head up to the cockpit. Now here's that interior glitching. I know it breaks the immersion for some of you. It doesn't bother me all that much. But that will do it for another build guide. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to join the wolf pack, as well as hit the bell next to it to stay up to date with all my latest content. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like. All these things are really gonna help out the channel. We've grown so much, and I really appreciate all you guys are doing to help me out. I have some big stuff planned for this weekend, so keep an eye out. But that's all for me for now. Wolf, out!